Welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, let's get started with a new playlist that is data mining. So many of you have been asking me to make videos on data mining. Uh, well, still I thought of not to start this playlist because I'm not actually getting time. Uh, if I start, I feel like I have to complete it and you know, uh, so I thought of not not starting it as actually. Uh, but you know, so many of you have been asking, uh, you know, I felt like, okay, so many people are asking, I have to do, I have to definitely do and the topics also, you know so many topics are there uh, where which are not found anywhere i don't know how to deal with that topics but still somehow i'll manage to complete the playlist by your exams time so let's get started so this is the first video in this video i'm going to explain you what is data mining and what types of data that can be mined okay so let's get into the video now first what is data mining you know what is mining right mining uh coal in coal fields or in gold mining sorry not coal i don't know coal is mined or not but gold mining we will be doing like you know what is mining you will be extracting things so here also data mining is defined as the procedure for extracting information from huge sets of data that is you are having a lots and lots of data from that data everything is not actually required to you right for example on youtube uh, in my channel there are so many videos almost I have done 500 550 plus videos among those all videos all videos are not useful for you only videos which are related to your subjects or videos which are related to your placements are useful for you so among the those how will you do you will be searching right you will be searching then you will be getting the videos so here also the same from the huge sets of data whatever information you want you will be extracting that information that is what data mining is okay it is also defined as mining knowledge from the data so from data whatever is required that is called as simply knowledge or information so that you are mining it you are extracting it that is what data mining means okay very simple definition now what types of data can be mined that is you are doing the data mining activity then which which what what types of data you can mine so we have three types database data data warehouse data and transactional data about everything i'll explain in detail and apart from these three we have also miscellaneous types like other types we have so i'll tell about them also okay let's get started now first is database data database data is nothing but the rdbms database management system we have rdbms right r is nothing but relational relational database management system so relational database management system means what simply it is of tables so it has set of tables and this tables will have rows and columns okay table is nothing but it is a combo of both rows and columns right so row will dip, uh, represent a tuple and column will represent a attribute so what is tuple what is attribute you'll understand don't worry now so while you are mining the databases so while you are mining the tables what you can get what is the output that you can get out of it that is you can search for trends and you can search for data patterns trends in the sense where the data is increasing or where for example sales so at which point sales increased at which point sales decreased and at which point sales are neutral that trends you can uh, you know find out right and data patterns in the sense suppose you are having a list of marks of all the students of a class in a table so you can under, uh, observe the pattern like uh, you know majority of the marks sorry not majority of the marks maximum marks are scored by how many people minimum marks are scored by how, how many people all that patterns you can identify out of that right so that is what you can mine out of a database for example with examples you'll understand it more better by using data mining you can analyze the customer data in order to predict the credit card risk of new customers that is based on the previous data of the customers of new customers based on previous data okay so based on previous data you can mine that data you can uh, you know extract some useful points from that data and based on that you can predict the credit risk of the newly coming customers got it you will be analyzing the existing data and you will be predicting some points predicting some situations where newly coming customers credit cards or credit information could be at risk okay 
in this situation you can use data mining and the other situation is analyzing the sales data so you are analyzing the sales data of a particular company and in that you can uh, analyze any deviations that is the sales are going good or is there any deviation or is there any hike in the sales like that you can you know analyze by using the data mining this also by using previous years data and all you can do that okay this is about the database data next data warehouse so what is data warehouse actually when i was in my engineering in 3 2 or 4 1 i don't exactly remember but we used to have the subject data warehouse and data mining not just data mining it used to be data warehouse and data mining the syllabus is completely different actually so that is what i am not able to you know that is what i have not started videos all these days if the syllabus is same uh, since i have prepared i used to have the pdfs i used to have the materials and when i have prepared i write myself handwritten notes and i used to have that and all but for data mining the syllabus is completely different so only some topics were matching so that's what but still i'll manage to complete it don't worry so here data warehouse is nothing but it is the collection of data integrated from different sources from different sources you are integrating the data and from that data you are collecting the data okay with querying and decision making on Don't the data confused i'll explain with diagram so what is querying and what is decision making querying is nothing but you are suppose in dbms you will be writing queries right insert create delete so querying that is if you want to make any changes if you want to extract the data or if you want to make changes into the data you want to delete the data all that you can do with the help of querying and what is decision making on data decision making is nothing but you can make decisions like whatever you want to like uh, whether you want to increase the sales or whether you want to decrease the sales whether you want to increase the prices so if the say uh, sorry if the sales are decreasing in that case what you have to do you have to give some discounts so that the sales will again get back like that you can make some decisions right and in data warehouse the data is stored in a multi dimensional structure so in data in relational database how did we store the data we store the data in form of tables right but in data warehouse we will be storing it in a multi dimensional structure which is nothing but the data cube where each dimension will represent each attribute so in tables what represented attributes columns used to represent the attributes right but here in data warehouse in the data cube each dimension of the cube will represent the attributes okay so i'll explain with so this is the diagram if you can see i said data will be integrated from different data sources right so from these three data sources data is being integrated into a data warehouse and from this data warehouse querying and analysis can be done okay that will be done by clients so not only client one and two you can have any number of clients here okay and as i said data will be stored in form of a data cube right so this is the data cube here each dimension will represent each attribute so this dimension is representing time this dimension is representing location this dimension is representing the item type suppose the item type is a pen or a pencil or anything then time is uh, how much time it takes to product uh, to produce that one unit how much time to produce it production time and location at what location it is being produced so you are representing the item the production time of the item and at what location the item is being produced with the help of a single cube this is what data warehouse is okay so after this we have transactional database transactional database is nothing but uh, you can simply say it is also similar to the previous two types here each record or each uh, attribute is referred as a transaction okay so here you will be calling each record as a transaction a transaction could be anything it could be customer sales or it could be flight booking flight ticket booking or it could be user clicks on web page that is uh, how many times a user has clicked on a particular web page or how many times a user has clicked on a particular banner or a particular advertisement like that all these uh, all these will come under the transactions only okay a transaction will have transaction id and list of all the other items which are making up that transaction that is the id of the transaction the name of the transaction at what time the transaction started transaction end time and transaction date transaction location transaction details everything will be there okay like bank transaction you can take for example so here from the transaction database also you can mine the frequent patterns that is the patterns which are occurring frequently got it this is about the transactional database all transactional data you can see actually transactional data now after this we have other types of data as well so what are the other types of data like sequence data sequence data means stocks stock market related data and data streams data streams is nothing but data which is continuously being transmitted okay and spatial data spatial data is nothing but maps 
okay and engineering and design data you can for example all the data which is related to engineering and designs for example we can take integrated circuits okay and we have hypertext you know what is hypertext and multimedia multimedia also you know what is multimedia right like audio video and all and web data as well like web page related data and all so this is about the other types of data this is all about the types of data that can be mined and what is data mining and all so let's continue i will maximum try to continue the playlist without any uh, obstructions thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section